to Lady Mary Bath, a thoughtfully set table is always appreciated, especially at Easter. We will set two different tablescapes. One is neutral and classic and soothing, and the other with pops of color that's everything Easter and spring. So let's use items that we have on hand and maybe a few things from the grocery store and set fun and festive tables. A couple of items that I picked up at the grocery store. These are little plastic chocolate bunnies that open up. You can hide a surprise inside. There's a similar item I found on Amazon that I will try and link in the description. They were $3 for a pack of three, and they're so perfect. It's a great little surprise for our table setting. They break open, and you can hide something inside. Let's see what this is. Looks like a James Avery pouch. It's the Primavera Cross. Isn't it beautiful? Perfect for Easter. Someone will get that special surprise. And I'm thinking a $50 bill rolled up fits nicely inside too. So instead of an Easter basket, you may want to think about something like this. It adds to your table. It's no fuss and nice surprise for everyone. And I wanted to feature my mother's china pattern. This is a platinum rimmed Brookdale by Lennox. She chose this as a bride in 1968, and I have added more pieces to the collection with the help of eBay and shopgoodwill.com. I now have a place setting for 28, but I didn't want to do the same pattern all over the table. I wanted to rejuvenate it, and I've paired that with a Cellini white from Villaroy and Bach. Isn't that fun together? It picks up the white flowers and it adds a freshness. And the charger is the Verona clear from Villaroy and Bach. Looks like a beautiful piece of crystal holding our plates. And I paired that with a Strasbourg from Gorham. That's a nice Rococo pattern that reflects the platinum rim on the plate. And the Waterford Crystal Lismore Goblet. And this creates a classic and soothing look for our table. And now I'll show you the extras that I've added, things that I had around the house. While at the grocery store today, I found this resin planter with a bunny, and then I found some shamrocks and simply placed them here for a springtime centerpiece. And our little field of bunnies on Clooney Lace surrounds the planter. And these are items that I purchased in Atlanta at a resale shop years ago. And this is a vintage cake stand that I placed everything on. And again, I've just pulled things from around my home. We've got some porcelain bunnies, a Baccarat rabbit, Waterford crystal eggs. These are part of my collection. I opened cabinets to see what I could find. And I suggest that you look around your house to see anything that might resonate for spring. And obviously we can't go out and buy anything new to create a look, but I'm confident that you will find items around the house. And another thing I wanted to share with you is if you happen to shop at Aldi, a German grocery store chain that's all over the US, they have delicious chocolate eggs. They're fantastic. And I've taken two sugar bowls and placed some of the colorful eggs on the table just to add a little touch of whimsy and nice treat. And there are simple ways that you can add small things to create a beautiful look for your Easter table. It's nice that we could pull different elements that we had on hand and create a nice calming, neutral tablescape. And I really like that I could use my mother's vintage china and pairing it with a white dinner plate makes it a little bit more modern. And the silver and the crystal is a nice addition so that it doesn't take away from the subtle colors in the salad plate. And simple things such as 
a Waterford Shamrock paperweight really lend themselves to spring. Anything you find that reminds you of spring would be a perfect addition to the table. And remember, this is just a sugar bowl. There's no need to have to go buy a certain Easter themed item for your table. Use what you have on hand, check the grocery store while you're out to see what they might have that can add a little bit more panache to your table. And I hope that you can pull things together from your cabinets and create a nice Easter table. A colorful springtime table is perfect for an Easter celebration. Let's restyle items that you have on hand, add some decorative elements you find around the house, and be sure to check the grocery store. I found some treasures. The place cards with the beautiful rose, I found at HEB. And at Kroger, they had these wonderful gold leaf plastic eggs with jadeite egg cups. These were only a dollar. They're perfect. So be sure to look around while you're there looking for essentials. And don't forget the gold bunny. They're $4 each. You'll find them in every grocery store. And I'll show you how we can incorporate this and make it a focal point for our Easter table setting. And the chocolate coated eggs from Lent are also perfect. I'll show you a use for that. And this morning I received one of my shopgoodwill.com orders, perfect timing, some Marquee by Waterford candle holders. So I will incorporate that in the table so that we can enjoy that today. So let's have a look at our colorful display to celebrate Easter. The gold bunny has had a wardrobe change. What a difference it makes to put a pastel ribbon around the bunny and use as a table favor instead of the red. For $4, it's a great item you can incorporate into your Easter table. And our dishes today are the French Garden from Villar and Bach. It's absolutely perfect for our colors because it allows us to tie in the blue, pink, yellow, and green. I'm so pleased and it's a very spring look. And on the Verona glass charger, it's absolutely perfect. And I like the tie-in with the rose place card because it matches the blossom on the plate and the Rogers flirtation also has little flowers around the edge. So I feel like that's a nice cohesive look. And of course we had to have fun with the napkin. This is the carrot for the bunny on our plate. And these probably are round top I bought these years ago and have never used them. And I think they're lots of fun for an Easter table. And that's the beauty of not being able to go out and shop for things that you want to create a new table. Use items that you have on hand and restyle them. It was fun looking around the house for items that I haven't used since last year or maybe haven't used at all. This gold bunny is usually in the coffee tea bar around this season. And I put a big pink ribbon around it just to change it up. And I found this hiding in a cabinet that I must have bought at a resale shop years ago. And the Waterford egg that you saw in the other table setting, I have placed in the jadeite to give it a different look from the silver that we had as a base. And the jadeite cups really come in handy for the chocolate lint coated eggs. Aren't they sweet? For the centerpiece, I found this a couple months ago. This is an antique milk glass silver lace compote. It was $5 at Goodwill. And I added some moss that I had on hand and those fun gold leaf plastic eggs from Kroger and filled it with some chocolates from Aldi and tied some ribbon around our bunny. This is an item I got at Ace Hardware a couple of months ago. And the ladies of our church make beautiful cross-stitched items. And I think that's perfect around his ear. And that is the centerpiece. It was quite a challenge since the floral departments are closed at so many of the grocery stores. And I wanted to showcase something for you today. So I'm quite pleased with this. And now my Easter table is set. 
I was pleased to find a tablecloth that I hadn't used in over 20 years. I think it works really well with our colors and I wanted to add some layers to the table. So I happen to have three sheer runners that I place all together and then tied at each end and that creates an elevated look and it's almost like three additional layers on the table. And I had lots of fun with the ribbon. This is an Easter bunny my brother brought back from Vietnam. It's written in German, which we love, Frau Ostern. And I think it's fun to dress up your decorative items that you have around the house. And of course, I'm happy to have my Easter gift a bit early, the Marquis Corinth by Waterford candle holders. These were designed in 1994, back in my day with Waterford Crystal and these were brand new in a box. They had never been used, so this is really special. It's almost like a, a time capsule for me. So I'm really happy with the way things came together. I didn't go out and buy a new tablecloth or other major items for the table. I simply went to the grocery store and found a few inexpensive items to freshen up the look. I hope that you get inspired to find simple ways to beautify your life and Easter table. I wish you and your family a joyous Easter. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.